you should be apologizing to him. Even if you've been kind of made out to feel like you shouldn't, or that isn't your friend, or this isn't a good person, you should apologize to this person because you did attack them online. You should apologize to them personally first. So I wrote out a text, an apology, it was a long one, and it went through. And I got a response back. My number wasn't blocked. So there was a conversation had, we, sp we spoke on the phone and I apologized for everything. Just allowing myself to create an image of someone in my head in a negative light based on what I was being fed because it wasn't fair for me to do that to anyone, to hear all these things about someone and never have experience in myself, but still think these things about that person. So I'm like, I'm sorry for that. I'm just sorry for a lot of things. A lot of clarity came from that conversation. A lot of things made a lot more sense once you heard, once I heard the other side of the story. I thought my friends are gonna tell me the truth. That's not always the case. So when he explained situations that I thought, why is he being irrationally angry? It made sense why he was mad in this situation and this situation. It made a lot more sense that I'm like, am I, am I being lied to? Why? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I then tell him, I'm like, I would, I personally would love to apologize online publicly to you. I'm not going to say I spoke to you. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to tell anyone. I would just like to do that. Do you mind if I do that? And he's like, no, I totally respect it. Thank you for that. So when I created my apology, it took me 24 hours. I wanted to sleep on it. I still wanted to apologize to him publicly, but I wanted it all to kind of process in. What do you want to do next, Gabriel? When I woke up, I was like, you know what? There's a certain individual that I do need to cut out of my life because it's always just been toxic. A lot of the negativity around you and around your friends has been due to this one person. There's the same factor in all these negative situations around your life because I've had a lot of friends and there's always these negative things going on and that seems to be the remaining factor and that's Manny. So I'm like, you know what? You're not that cool with this person. If I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all, it was an, that friendship was this weird narrative of after he's had all these falling outs and so has she, Laura, we're just, we don't really have friends. Let's just all constantly hang out. And I'm thinking, oh my God, my friends want to constantly hang out. Like this is so cool. Like they're some of the top people in the beauty industry. And it's fun to just hear inside perspective from somebody else. And these are also people who understand it. I'm growing and I'm new to this. So it's cool to just hear like inside tips and tricks. Like Laura has helped me so much with my YouTube channel and my social media in general, just giving me advice, giving me tips, giving me, she's like, my home is yours. Whatever you want to do. Do you want to film? Like, what do you like anything? So that's her and Nikita have been the only ones that have really helped me. I'm not saying Manny didn't, but he gave me a link to where I could get Final Cut Pro, like text and stuff. Cool. There's been always like a, hey, you should be posting more. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Like I do want to post more, but I've always been, yeah, I'm not consistent when it comes to posting, but I'd rather post something that I love as opposed to me thinking I have to post. And I feel like that's where I was going crazy. Me personally, I'm not saying it was because of anybody else because I was like, I'm going crazy. I feel like I have to post like two to three times a week on YouTube and like every single day on Instagram and this and that. I have to post a particular time because these, this is what I'm hearing constantly. No, I don't. And that's why I was going crazy. That's the only thing he's really helped me with. So that narrative of we're all close kind of started to mess with me because I'm like, I don't know anything about him, really. And he doesn't know anything about me, but he's constantly hanging out with other people and having these close moments, but I don't, I don't get a hangout. I don't get a phone call. I don't get nothing. So I'm like, okay, cool. This is a person you need to cut out of your life. You've been wanting to cut them out ever since he threw Laura under the bus when Laura and Jeffrey had that falling out. He threw her under the bus. Let's keep it a hundred. Why is it that two people who were in the wrong with him, only one gets out alive? Behind the scenes, if I'm keeping it 100, I was done with him. I was like, are you serious? I see my friend and she is hurt. She is distraught. I'm getting emotional. I wanted to cut him off. 
it hurt because I felt like in that situation, I was backing up a friend that I felt was hurt. And then that friend then turns around and is buddy, buddy. And then I get pushed aside and I'm like, wait, I, th I thought you were hurt. And that's why I was hurt as well. And then I was hurt that I was being kind of like pushed aside. And I'm like, what? Okay, cool. You can't be mad at someone's situation if they're not mad themselves. And that took time during that situation for me to process. But I'm like, okay, cool. We try to better that situation. It was talked over between me and Laura. But during that time, I did get an apology from Manny. I'm so sorry that it just looks like this and I've hurt y'all and I've hurt my friend. Cool, if you didn't throw her under the bus, why are you apologizing? Interesting. So when I wake up that day and I tweet out, I'm sorry, Jeffree Star, I go to his tweet, I copy and I paste what I also relate to. It has been an eye-opening 24 hours because when he tweeted that, the 24 hours that he was referring to was the flight and certain people's situations being come up, like his insensitive Snapchat. So, okay, cool. For me, I saw myself get thrown under. My narrative is being painted out as differently. I have apologized to someone that I needed to, and they have cleared up so much more for me. So the next day I'm like, it has been an eye-opening 24 hours. I wanted that shade, you know why? Because as an audience, y'all see it. You see the shade. I knew, I've always been told you can manipulate the audience to think what you want them to think. Is that seven minutes? Oh my God, this video is so long. You can paint it out to be some type of way. Cool. I want it to be done. I tweet it out. He's trying to contact me. I'm not responding. I'm like, I'm out. It felt good. It sounds dark, but it felt good to just cut someone off like that. I thought that cutting off a friend would be bad, but it felt good. And I didn't understand why. But further realizing it, it's like, that was a toxic person in your life. You shouldn't have been friends with this person. You shouldn't have been hanging out with this person, to be quite honest, because you don't really need each other like that. If, we're ke if I'm keeping it 100, we didn't. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then I unfollow him. Of course he freaks out because people are now catching on to it. And he then sends me a voice memo that he's outside my building. And it's like, hey, I'm outside your building. You can't come into my building unless I allow you and you're on a list. So of course he's not being let in. So I get a voice memo, hey, I'm outside your building. I don't know why I'm here. I just wanted to talk to you face to face. I know you must be going through a lot. We're all going through a lot. What do you mean we're all going through a lot? What are we all going through? Because it looked like I was, I was the only one going through it. Yeah, certain people were going through things as well, but I didn't tweet other people's things. My photo, I have now taken full accountability for. That tweet I've taken full accountability for. I have apologized to y'all publicly. What do you mean we at this point? Because y'all are liking shady things. It's no longer we. And then he apologizes for liking and responding to things that he misinterpreted. I'm tired of this. I misinterpreted this. Oh, I'm so sorry because of this. Oh, I'm so sorry, but it, it's, it's because of this. No, if you're sorry, you're sorry. Just keep it 100. Keep it 100 with me and I will respect you. Yeah, even if you were like, hey, I did like some shady tweets about you. I'm kind of upset with you because you started that you shouldn't have. But even though we all feel like this, I was upset and I liked these tweets and I shouldn't have, I'm sorry for that. I would have respected that because you know, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, he shaded me, but he is keeping it 100. No, don't say you didn't reach. Don't say these things when I know how you move. I know how you work. No, we're not gonna do that. So I don't respond. I'm just, since then I have, I tweeted that and I gave the respect of not doing anything more, not liking anything more, not tweeting anything, not doing anything, right? So just seeing it all play out now that I feel like, okay, I've apologized. I'm backing up because what I did wrong, everything I've apologized for, right? I'm contemplating a video, apologizing to my audience, and just that, just apologizing. Maybe like still taking blame for that photo and not really going into depth like I'm going in now. 
But to see someone go online and apologize to someone rightfully deserved, he did deserve to apologize to that little girl, but you're not gonna talk about anything else? You're not gonna apologize to someone that has helped you get to where you are? Even though you've played the, he offered it. He didn't do things for me. He didn't have to offer these things. This is someone who's already so successful and you're freaking out because you're like, I don't know where to go and I don't know what manufacturer to use and blah, 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 this, blah, blah, blah. And your friend is like, well, I mean, I can put in a good word for you in my place and I can give you these contacts. Don't act like this person didn't do nothing for you, okay? Because even though I, during that time, wasn't the biggest fan of Jeffrey, I always respected advice that he had given me. One of the biggest advice was, don't waste all your money. That's gonna be one of the biggest mistakes that you do coming into it, if I can give you any advice. I did that and I blew through my money and I wasn't saving anything. And it's true. I was in the beginning starting to blow money. I was like, oh wow, okay, that's true. I should be saving. It's been an eye-opening experience, if I'm being quite honest. This is a long video and I'm sorry it's this long, but it just, it's my truth. And it's, a, I know I'm venting a lot, and I'm, I want to just wrap it up at this point. I don't want to convince y'all on anything. Don't let me tell you how to feel. Don't let me tell you what to see. Allow others to show you who they are. Look at it all. Look at it all and really realize who these people are. Because I try to keep it 100. I tweeted it. Let's not go online. It's my Alexa. Calling with Alexa is not Stop. Stop. So, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, I don't like that it seemed that I was the only one who thought this. I don't like that it was like, oh, Gabriel, you're going to take full accountability. Cool, I did tweet it. But let's not try to make it seem mm. like other people didn't really think these things. So I'm like, okay. Cool, but I will take full accountability. I will take that. I, if I, uh, I will take full accountability. So, it is then, you're gonna have to apologize first. This is all Manny. Laura's like chiming in, but one of the parts that kind of annoyed me was, I wasn't given the respect of being looked at in the eyes while this is being had while I'm being told what to do. So I'm like, I'm starting to see these things. I'm like, okay, read people's body language. I'm staring at him and I'm not, it's just blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. You're gonna have to take full accountability. Your apology is gonna have to go out first. So I would start working on it. And based off of your apology, this person goes next, this person goes next and I will be last, and we all get, we'll all gauge kind of like what the other one needs to fix. And I'm like, okay, if you're sorry, you're sorry. Just put it out there. I don't, I don't, I don't understand why it has to be like this, 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 and this. No, like why are we, why, why are we setting up others' apology for success? If you're, if you're sorry, just apologize and be sorry. So I'm like, okay, cool. It sucks because I, I felt like it was like, okay, like, cool. Like I'll take full accountability and I guess I'll be the person who hates him online. And I'm the only one who thinks this. That's fine. I know it. Uh, and these are my friends and you need to do right by them. So when I start heading home from the airport, I get nauseous in the backseat on my phone for too long. I'm already nervous. I'm anxious. It's a lot. I don't even want to look at my phone. I want to look straight forward and I just want to not throw up in this situation. And I get a text message of, from Manny, hey, how are you doing? Are you okay? I just see it and I'm like, I can't even respond. Like, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm like sitting there. It's like a 45 minute drive. Almost by the end of it, I get a text message of, hey, I really, hey, we really need you to put out this apology because it's a storm for everybody else, Gabby. And I'm like, wait, didn't you just text me wondering how I am? You don't hear from me? And then it's, hey, we need, cool, okay, interesting. 
I'm not texting you back because your headspace wasn't to see if I was good. It was to see when am I putting this out? Cool. So I come home and I write my own apology. I wrote my own apology, just so y'all know. I wrote it. Yeah, there was a revision, so I wouldn't mess up, but the only thing that was added was me attacking somebody else that didn't deserve it, who was part of the Ipsy community. That person definitely didn't need for me to attack them the way that I did. I was angry and she just stated an opinion. It was a little bit sassy, but it was her truth. And I respect it. But in that moment, I attacked. I didn't care, I just attacked. And she did deserve an apology. And I was like, you know what, that's true. All the other apologies, apologizing to Nars, apologizing to Ipsy, apologizing to my friends, apologizing to y'all, to my community, to the beauty community, was me writing that out. So, Laura put out her apology first because she, she didn't want to wait. She wanted to apologize and I respected that. Then I even had called her and I was like, hey, like, I don't know, like, should I be doing a video? Should I be putting text out? I don't know what to do. And it's like, an apology is an apology. It, you don't, don't feel like you have to do something so that people can understand it. An apology is an apology. As long as you are apologizing and you're sincere about it, it's an apology. And I'm like, okay. And I cried and I was like, I fucked up. Like I, I did, I caused this for you as well. I caused this for me. And she, and we cried and I put on my apology and I went to sleep. That is everything with that, with the photo and my apology. What happened next was where I got upset that I was being painted in a different type of way. So first, Maddie's apology wasn't an apology because there wasn't an, an I'm sorry in there. His initial quote tweet of mine. I wake up that Tuesday and I, I get a notification that he had quote tweeted me. And I'm like, wait, what? Okay, let me go to it. Thank you for owning up to it and all these things. I'm like, excuse me? So I screenshot it because I'm like, wait, am I crazy? Thank you, Gabby, for speaking up. We took that photo with the intent of recreating Kylie's 21st birthday picture with her sisters. True. The reason I liked it was because it was a photo of the four of us being silly the night before. I didn't read the caption as I had been running around. He was in his hotel, just so you know when he was liking and responded to it. Maybe he was running around his hotel room. That might be the case. But you can't tell me that you didn't see a you didn't read that tweet. It was a short sentence and it starts with the curse word and it's the photo of us four. You're just gonna like something and respond to it? No, 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 no. That's, no, that's not what we're gonna do. And then once I was notified about the caption from you all, I removed my like and asked Gabby to take it down as the photo was supposed to be a fun recreation and nothing more. I wasn't asked by him to take it down. When I said earlier, I asked Laura, how would you like me to better these things? That's why I took it down. Let that be clear. I would, so that's why I'm like, why are you now creating this narrative? The same thing you do in every situation. If we're keeping it a hundred, let's keep it a hundred. You know, you feel these things. Let's keep it a hundred. You feel these things. Somebody else does too, okay? Other people do too. So don't act like, Oh no, like I, this, no, 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 no. You feel that. So let's not paint it out to be like, I'm the one. Cool, no, 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 okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm getting emotional, right? So when I read that, I'm like, messy can never help themselves. When you're messy, you remain messy. So not only are you being messy in your quote tweet, let me go look at what you've been liking and what you've been responding to. So why am I seeing, of course you didn't read the caption. It was all fun and games until it backfired on the four of you. It absolutely was not at all. It was childish and I'm too grown for that, honestly. You're too grown? Too grown for what? You constantly talk about him. You constantly say all these things. You constantly use people. Let's look at track records. Let's look at track records. I don't have bad blood with anybody. Maybe there's one person that I, and me and her have an understanding of, we don't with each other, but let's keep it respectful. That's it. She's not in this community. So 
why are you the one who constantly keeps burning bridges and using people, but you're too grown? No, you can't, you say worse. Let's keep it a hundred, you've said worse. So my tweet that kind of set it all off was, no, 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 Manny, stay the out of it and, I th and think about who your friends are. He drug you down, did a half-assed apology and no one is buying. Trust me, it's been an eye-opening 24 hours is his response. I looked at other tweets he was liking. I wouldn't stay friends with someone that put me in a bad position and created all this drama. Why are you liking this? Yeah, I may have started this, but let's not act like you don't feel like this. If not worse, because I've heard you say worse. Because at 26 minutes, my camera shuts off at 30 minutes. I'll have to, I'm just checking. So I'm like, interesting. Let me go look at if anybody else is being shady right now. I go look at Nikita, no. Because real friends don't throw other friends under the bus, even by throwing that kind of underlying shade. There's multiple tweets that he liked. So I was like, cool. So then Laura's responding to people. Me, Manny, and Nikita didn't have any part in the tweet Gabriel posted. We asked him to take it down and he did. What do you mean we? I asked you, how do I better this? And you said, can you take that tweet down? And I said, yes. Let's not ask like I was told to do anything. Let's not act like that. Then she says, I did not ever like or comment the photo. Manny did without reading the caption and within a few seconds, he removed his comment and like. Okay, so you're defending someone and let's keep that clear. She did defend him and was, she didn't have to say, Manny did, but he took it down just so you're aware. Since your apology has gone out, where is he on this? Because that's your best friend. Okay, cool. So I'm looking at all these tweets and I'm like, wow, really? Like, okay, we're gonna play this narrative? Cool, if y'all are out for yourself and you're thinking, how do I better this for myself? Let me say face for myself. And you're probably thinking, well, Gabriel, you're probably reading into it. Maybe they didn't see those tweets or maybe they didn't fully read or maybe they're like, just kind of like, it's too much for them. Just so you know, I know these people a lot better than a lot of you do. Let's, let's keep it a hundred. In the sense of, I see how they move. Maybe I don't know what they did on their fourth birthday. Maybe I don't know everything about their family. Maybe I don't know certain things. But when I see them move, I am aware of what kind of person they are. And to hear them constantly complain, uh, well, this person liked this tweet and it was shady about me. Constantly, they've been aware for years that liking something shady is obvious, that responding something shady is obvious. They're creating that narrative and it's obvious. These are my friends. I saw them. I see how they move. So it's not me just misinterpreting things, over reading things. No, because there was a lot of people online saying, wait, what? did y'all just throw him under the bus? Like, wait, didn't y'all also have a falling out with him? Why is Gabriel the sacrificial lamb? All these people are saying it. So I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. I am, I am feeling these things with some reason. Oh, it's at 20 minutes, let me. Okay. It's been an eye-opening experience, if I'm being quite honest. This is a long video and I'm sorry it's this long, but it just, it's my truth. And it's, a, I know I'm venting a lot, and I'm, I want to just wrap it up at this point. I don't want to convince y'all on anything. Don't let me tell you how to feel. Don't let me tell you what to see. Allow others to show you who they are. Look at it all. Look at it all and really realize who these people are. 